Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at what's going to be in my bag for field day 2020. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we jump to the content, I've got to give a shout out to these five. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so starting with the outside of the bag, I usually keep uh, a couple of pieces of coax on the outside. So just some RG8X, uh, a couple of barrel connectors that usually stay plugged in there. So that's on the outside pouch. And then some sort of tablet. Lately, I've been testing this Amazon Fire tablet. Uh, if you follow my newsletter, you'll know that uh, I like the tablet. I don't like the uh, bloatware that's included uh, by Amazon on that. So I'm just going to lay that over there out of the way. And that's all that's on uh, our inside that outside pocket. Uh, there is one more outside pocket here. I'm not even going to bother taking this out. It's a rain cover, though, for the entire bag. So let's go ahead and start digging into the bag itself. Now, as you can see, it houses a lot of equipment, uh, and it also houses a couple of meals inside of here. Let's start with uh, the top pockets. Up in the top here, I keep a notepad. I keep a extra length of wire that I can use as a counterpoise, or should I need to make a quick antenna? I do have that. These little tablets that you see, uh, they're individually packaged. Tell you what, let's take one of those out. They're individually packaged. And then uh, if you tear these open and just drop them in a little bit of water, they expand out to be a full-size paper towel. So just a little housekeeping item that I do keep in that top pocket. And then you can also see a few cable ties. In this other uh, pouch here, I've got an emergency rain poncho and uh, just a set of stereo headphones. I can use that with my phone or my radio, whichever I need. Okay, so starting back here in uh, this particular section, I've just got uh, a few snacks. Uh, I've got some coffee, I've got some goo uh, energy gel, uh, and I do keep a cigarette lighter and a ferro rod on the other side, and that pretty much always lives in this bag. A little deeper down, you'll see that I've got the Dakota Lithium uh, 12, uh, 12 volt, 10 amp hour battery. And then it's got the Ginnison charge controller on it here. Down below that, I do keep another small notebook where I can keep uh, any notes that I might need. The next pouch over, or the next section over, uh, you'll see the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 8 gig model. I have to uh, label them now because they all seem to be in similar cases. Uh, on this particular one, I did not go with the, uh, uh, the power board power hat. I simply went with an inline buck converter. You can see that it's plugged into the GPIO pins here. And I've got a little uh, pigtail sticking out the back with Anderson power poles. Below that, uh, in that same section, I keep a little cook set. So uh, it's got everything that I need to be able to get some water boiling, and that goes along with a couple of meals that you'll see here in a few minutes. So the stove is on top, the fuel is down underneath it. Uh, I've got some aluminum foil for a windscreen, and a few other little odds and ends. To go along with that, I do keep a spork in the bag. And last but not least, on in that particular section is a small roll-up uh, J-pole antenna. Now this one is only good to five watts, so I'm typically using it with an HT. All right, the middle section here houses a couple of different things. This is a uh, water bottle, and right now it's empty. Uh, stuffed inside of the water bottle, I keep some paracord. I keep another plastic uh, collapsible type uh, water bladder that uh, I think that one holds two liters of water if I remember correctly and I also keep a water filter. I'll probably actually throw this out of the bag for fill day because the fill day site that we typically use is uh, void of water so we do have to pack all of the water that we want in. 
Uh, so really not a whole lot of need for that. Uh, this is just a little bitty uh, backpack uh, that collapses up really small. It's more like a day style backpack. I just keep this in here if I need to maybe offload some stuff out of the primary bag. Uh, let's say when I get to field day, I want to kind of separate all my food out into a separate bag. I could open this up and throw all of the food off into it. Next up, we've got the Powerfilm 30 watt solar panel. Uh, and this will be the primary solar panel that I will use for fill day this year. Okay, next up is uh, this pouch, and it contains a lot of goodies. We'll get back to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and empty the rest of the bag, and then we'll open this up and go back uh, through it. I do keep typically two different antennas in this bag. Now, this is what I haven't decided on for fill day this year. I'm not sure which HF antenna I'm going to use. I've got uh, basically a choice of three different antennas. I have my IMD 109 by TN07. That is not currently in the bag for this outing today. Uh, this bag here houses uh, an in-fed half wave. This is a homebrew that I've built with a 49 to 1 transformer. So this is one option uh, for field day in addition to the TN07109. Next bag up just has some more coax, so this is really small stuff, uh, RG174, I believe. I do have adapters uh, that I keep on here for uh, PL259 to SO239s, just in case I decide that I need uh, those. So a lot of times I'll operate with just 25 feet of this coax for HF, and then I'll save the larger coax that you saw earlier for UHF and VHF. But uh, just a couple of sections of that coax in here. Uh, I do have a barrel connector for BNC, and then uh, looks like just a couple of uh, tent pegs down in there as well, maybe three of those total in the bag. Uh, so always good to have tent pegs in there if I need to guy out an antenna or uh, stake out the end of it, those are in that particular bag. Uh, then just stored in a Ziploc bag, I've got uh, various things for the Raspberry Pi. You can see a external thumb drive here. I've got my sound card. Uh, the GPS is in there. Uh, what else? Uh, all the miscellaneous cables and then a short power extension cable. So that just lives in uh, the Ziploc bag. Next up, I have another antenna. Uh, again, this is a homebrew antenna, and this is a linked dipole. So I do have the choice of using this one on field day. This one will cover uh, 20 meters, 40 meters, and 80 meters. Cut more for the digital section of the band. So I don't use a tuner, so uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to use this one just because if I wanted to change up and work the voice sections of the band, this would not be the best antenna since it's cut uh, long for the digital sections. All right, we are getting close to the end. This little pouch here, it's a uh, old camera pouch uh, that I use, and inside of it is a Nano VNA. I actually have a pouch inside of a pouch. I wanna give this thing a little extra protection, but a Nano VNA is in there if I need to double check an antenna or something, some sort of issue that I'm having, I do have this. And then in the front section, uh, various adapters and cables that's needed to test an antenna. New for this year, uh, last year, if you guys watched that video, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that I ran an 857. Uh, this year, I am going to be running the Yezu FT891, and I'm going to run that in conjunction with a uh, Yezu FT65 or I believe HT. So the HT is going to handle all of my uh, VHF, UHF communication. So if I want to do WinLink over packet or I want to use uh, that for an APRS station, whatever I need for two meter work, I'm going to use the HT. But this will be my primary HF rig this year. All right, and the only thing that leaves in the bag is a couple of freeze-dried meals. Freeze-dried meals are really good because they are super lightweight, and uh, I don't care if it does say two servings on some of these. 
Uh, you'll notice there are 2.5 servings. Uh, don't believe it. This is one meal for me. So a couple of different meals that I do have in this bag as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about uh, this particular bag. So this bag has quite a bit going on in it. First, we'll take a look at uh, the back side of the bag. In here, I keep the fold out keyboard that I can use with the Raspberry Pi. I've got uh, all of the cable that I need for the solar panel. So this end plugs into the solar panel and then this end into the battery to charge everything up. I also keep a Bluetooth mouse in here. This is kind of a small one, old, uh, pretty beat up, uh, but works well with the Raspberry Pi. So makes it a little bit easier when I'm working with the tablet um, to be able to have an external keyboard and mouse. In addition to that, I keep an old Raspberry Pi 3 in here as well. So should the Raspberry Pi uh, go bad during the middle of field day, I always have the option of grabbing this one and running from it. In addition to that, I also keep a brand new 32 gig SD card uh, shoved off in here. You will see some more SD cards on the other side, but I always leave this one in here. Uh, so I would literally have to have three SD cards die on me uh, during a 24 hour operation before I was out of business. And honestly, guys, I've got some SD cards that have been in service for five years and I've never had a glitch with them. So I know that's a, a lot of people's fear of SD cards uh, wearing out or going bad or, uh, you know, some other sort of failure. I just haven't experienced it, uh, you know, with my Raspberry Pis. Now, flipping the bag over uh, to the front side, we'll go ahead and unzip that and fold that out for you. As you can see, there is a lot of different adapters uh, and whatnots in this bag. So I do keep uh, a spare sound card over in this section of the bag. I also have a uh, little tester, power pole tester. Uh, there we go. It's got power poles on one end and then a LED on the other. Green if everything's okay. Uh, and it will turn red if uh, you have something wrong. Maybe uh, you've got the polarity reversed or something. Here is a short uh, power extension cable on this side if I needed to get a little bit extra length on uh, some power. I've got a couple of different splitters in here. This one is for splitting solar panels out so I can actually use two different solar panels to charge the battery. Probably only going to use one solar panel this year because I'm only planning on operating on Saturday. I'm not going to be able to go the full 24 hours like normal due to my work schedule. Uh, next up is uh, another splitter and this one is purpose built to go between the battery and the solar panel. Uh, I'm sorry, the solar charge controller and then give me a couple of extra outlets on this end. Then we've got some various USB cables over here. I've got a short jumper. Uh, there's another USB cable that would be used for cat control on the 891 if I needed it. And a little voltage uh, tester for USB. On this side, I've got uh, a couple of pigtails made up. This is for my older solar panel that I don't use very much, but if I do take it out, these kind of live in here so that I've got those if I need them. There is another uh, buck converter, so this goes from 12 volts down to 5 volts and gives you a couple of USB uh, power ports here. So if you need to maybe recharge a tablet, uh, recharge your cell phone, or if I have to go back to that Raspberry Pi 3, I would probably use this in conjunction with one of the cables over here. And this particular cable here is designed to recharge the uh, FT65R in the field. That particular radio, uh, using its cradle, you need 12 volts going in, so that works well for it. Last little pocket here has a uh, what's up meter in it. So this will give me good information on the battery and uh, kind of where the battery's at throughout the day. And then beyond that, I do keep two envelopes. Uh, this one is for my 857. And looking at that, I need to back that one up again. It looks like March was the last time I backed it up. And then, of course, I've got the one for the Pi, uh, the Pi 4 for my 891. So these are uh, carbon copies 
of the cards that are already loaded into the pie. This is the one in my Jeep, and this is the one that's in the bag you just saw a minute ago. So exact uh, backup copies. That way, should a card fail, I can pull one of these out and use it. If I got a failure, uh, then I would take the backup card and try to copy it back to the original card that failed. Should that card just be completely trashed, then I would go ahead and grab the new card in the back and copy over to it. So that's what I plan on carrying with me for field day this year. See something I missed? Leave it down in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think and what you might consider taking that I didn't consider. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.